Hello, sports team to this video and it's looking at some referee analytics. So I got some data recently, just four sample files uh, and building a kind of profile of, of referees and having a look at them. So this is the, you know, an iteration of the final dashboard that I built. So you could have a look. So the bar here represents the entire population. So that's all referees. Um, so on average, they give around 14 offenses or penalties for, for this particular infringement here. And the referee we're looking at here, this is made up, uh, the referee we're looking at here on average is, you know, gives two more penalties than the rest of, of the refereeing population. And you can change the ref here, you can pick a different referee, and you can even look at a particular competition. So if I want to look at Champions Cup versus Pro 14, I can do that. So I thought it'd be interesting to walk through because there's some uh, flaws or changes you need to make to the data to make this sustainable and usable. So just to give you an idea, this is the folder. So I've downloaded four of these files and the, the way they come in the structure is you've got the referee name underscore. This middle code here is a competition ID. So 242 is Champions Cup and 204 is Pro 14, the other way around, I can't remember. And then you've got the season uh, here as the last part. Now the temptation is just to go into the file or to try and manipulate this data or maybe even copy and paste each of the individual files into one master sheet and that would really defeat the purpose of a tool like Tableau or Tableau Prep where you can you can automate a lot of this if you're clever about it. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So let's go in here to a blank Tableau workbook and I'm going to go off and connect to those files. Okay, so in here I've got some referee data. And we'll just pick one, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to connect to this Felix Malloy one here, who is a made up referee, by the way. We've got two sheets within the workbook. I'm just going to concentrate on the, on the first sheet, which is season stats one here. And you can see when I bring this in, it's quite a messy file. You know, I've got no headers here. There's some information like summary information that looks like here. And then I have a couple of games uh, down here. Okay, so I can see who they played and I've got some headings across here. Now, luckily Tableau is pretty smart. If I use this data interpreter sheet here, it actually sucks in the headings. And it does a good job of that up there. So I'm I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I do need to filter out some things. I'm really only interested in, in the matches. I, d I don't want all of this, this other information. So we, we can go and filter that out. But before I do, this only looks at one file. I'd like to look at all four. Or eventually maybe that's 25, 30 referees you want to put in here. So let's have a look at that. So I'm going to convert this to a union. I'm going to make it a wildcard union. And what I, all I need to do is replace that text there with an asterisk. So what this is doing is saying, look in my folder and include anything that's a, an XLS file. So that means if I put new files in there later on, Tableau will pick this up. So let's click OK to that. Now we're very lucky in the provider here of the data. It's the same structure every week. So that's good news. Um, so all we really need to do now is kind of filter out the data we don't need. Okay, and there's a few different places you can do that, but I'm going to do it in the top right hand corner here with add filters. So it's this column here, F2, that I'm interested in. So I'm going to add a filter on F2. And I just want to tick everything that's not a game. So match, match average, percent, these kind of things. Okay. So anything else is a game, and I'm going to exclude. So this means exclude anything that isn't a game, really. Uh, and it might be something you need to keep an eye on, make sure, but this, this should work pretty well, as I said, because the structure is the same every week. So I'll click OK and OK. And now I have a list of games. I have the round it was in, and I have all the numbers running across. So let's just tidy this up and say, this is the round. 
this is the game. Okay, looks good. Right, so let's go to a sheet and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got all of the different infringements running along here. I'll come back to that in a second. That's not how I want this data laid out. And also I have a couple of fields up here that we might need to go about renaming. The one I'm really interested in first is this path. So let me just drag it out so we can have a look at what it says. So the path here contains, you know, the folder it came from, the referee name, the competition ID and the season. Okay. Now the temptation might be, and it is possible, I can go in here and I can edit the aliases. So I could start to rename these. But again, I want to think about I'm going to add more referees and new referees next week. This can seem like a one-time job, and that's the temptation. But I'm, I'm going to do it in a, in, a, in a better way. Okay, And there are, there are different ways of doing this. Uh, potentially simpler ways of doing this, but I'm going to use regex. So let me create a calculated field here. And um, we're going to call this the referee name. Okay, now I've already pre-written this just to save us doing it in here. So this is the calculation. So it's it's using a thing called regex. As I said, there are other ways of doing this um, if you needed to, if you don't know regex or can't figure it out, but you can uh, just copy this code. So really what it does is it says find the forward slash and then keep everything within the brackets. So this just means capital letter, lowercase letter, space, capital, lower. Okay, and any the star means any number of letters. So capital letter, any number of them, space, small. Okay, so that's our referee name. So I can click OK to that. And now I have my referee name extracted. Okay, so that's part one. Next thing is I want to get the competition. And again, I have this, this pre-done just to save a little bit of time in here. So let's create a competition field. And again, I've got some regex. And this just uses the list either 204 or 242. Again, there might be other competitions I don't know about. But that would be quite simple and straightforward is that uh, I could come along, add a pipe here. And say 600 is another one, I think. Okay, so I could just add additional competition IDs in here. Okay. So we've got the 204, 242. Now again, they mightn't mean anything to people. Um, so we may need to go in and just update the aliases on them. So again, there are, are always different ways of doing this, but to keep this video nice and simple, I'm going to edit the aliases. So 204 is the pro 14, and this is the champions. Okay, so now I have, ignoring the path here for a second, I have the referee name, competition, I have a game field, so I can put the game field in. And now I can see across that, across competitions, across everything. Okay, so again, by using regex and not manually having to do it, I don't really need to think about this field again. So let me show you what I mean by this. So here's my referee field. And I have another file, okay? Again, made up using my own name. But what I'm going to do is, let's say next week we have this referee coming up, and now I want to drop their games in here. So I put this new file in. It follows the same structure, so it's a first name, surname, competition ID, and so on. And what I can do here is, if we keep an eye on Tableau, is when I refresh the data set, Without touching anything, we can see we've got a new referee and the competition has been brought in. Okay, so that's the advantage of looking at it, you know, as a kind of automated way, trying to remove all those manual processes. There's one more step I want to do, and that's to do with transforming this data. I don't want all of these measures here. I want to look at this in another way. And to do that, I'm going to pivot the data. So I'm simply going to select all of these fields except the 
the kind of standard text one. So all the numeric fields, I'm going to right click and port. So that gives me two new fields. One is pivot names. So this is the infringement. And this we can call the count. <laughs> okay. So sheet one, and you can see how much tidier now this data becomes. Why would I do that? Okay, so let's say new sheet. So now what I can do is say, right, infringement. These are all the infringements. I want to make sure this count is a number. Just telling Tableau that this should be something to be added up. So I can sum this up, and we can sort this by highest to lowest. And now, for example, I could take the referee and show a filter. So I could then say, right, what has Rob Carroll's infringements been across the various games? And I've only got one competition, but again, I could add that to the filter here and say, right, what's Kyle Nugent, but just in the Pro 14, as an example. So this structure makes it much easier to build what I had shown you at the beginning there as the kind of final dashboard, okay? Uh, sorry, bear with me. Okay, so referee's name, competition name, a list of offenses here. Now I've added in some additional features with this. So for example, you can click on Scrum and you get a breakdown of the different Scrum type penalties that he, that the referee has given, okay? But there are things you, you, you can do at another stage or might do in another video. But I just wanted to show you, you know, thinking about automating it. Again, I use regex. There are other ways to do it. And then just restructuring the data. You can really build something quite powerful without a lot of manual effort.